Magnets are amazing things. They are part of our everyday life. Not only do they make fridges look more attractive, they are also used to make MRI machines, the Large Hadron Collider and other big things work. The most common form of magnetism is ferromagnetism. But there are other lesser known types of magnetism, like paramagnetism and electromagnetism. And for this reason, today we are going to be looking at static magnetism. Michael Faraday is the most important natural philosopher this country's ever produced. He's well known for his discoveries and lectures in magnetism, linking those two phenomena together into a single scheme of force. And exactly 150 years ago today, uh, shortly before his death, Faraday made one of his most important uh, discoveries, that of static uh, magnetism. So these are the notebooks that uh, Faraday used in 1864. I mean, over here we've got some of his um, drawings of magnetic lines of force, which uh, led him to the idea uh, of static magnetism, that the lines near magnet were absolutely still. How can you read his writing? Uh, lots of practice, lots of practice. Mm. Faraday's law of static magnetism states that you can make any battery magnetic simply by charging it with static electricity. So how does this actually work? All you need to do is rub your battery against a non-conductive surface, like your jeans or this woolen jumper. You have to be careful not to rub in the direction the electric current flows from the negative terminal to the positive, but instead from the north pole to the south pole. After only a short amount of rubbing, the battery will act like any other magnet. To understand why this happens, you need to know more about the interplay between electricity and magnetism. If two objects are rubbed together, there is a transfer of electrons from one object to the other, creating an electron imbalance, with an excess positive charge on one surface, the cloth, and a negative one on the other, the battery. These extra electrons naturally migrate towards the negative pole, like with current electricity, but by rubbing the battery in the opposite direction, you are forcing the electrons to also move in this opposite direction. The standoff between these two forces makes the electrons align to a single plane, thereby combining the individual magnetic dipole moments of each electron into a much stronger, combined magnetic field. This magnetic field persists even after you stop rubbing, thereby creating a temporary magnet. You can reverse the process by charging the battery and thereby returning it to its original non-magnetic state. Mobile phones are particularly good for this as they have lithium ion batteries where the particles are much easier to align than for an alkaline battery. This is a fascinating phenomenon with many potential applications in everything from nanorobots to mobile phone technologies. <laughs>